Concerns may wipe out some of the fun for the upcoming holiday weekend. Dan is live at Lake Louisville with a look. Good morning, Dan. Well, good morning, Lauren, and anyone who was looking forward to being out on the lake this long three day weekend will have to ask themselves if it's worth the risk uh, with lake levels this high. There are hazards below the surface of the water that wouldn't be there in drier years. Now, the Army Corps of Engineers says here at Lake Louisville, uh, the water level is just one foot and seven inches from going over the spillway, and that could cause flooding nearby. This lake has not hit flood stage since 2007. Uh, Denton County Emergency Services is discouraging people from heading out to the lake this weekend. They say right now it's just too dangerous. There are very large trees and other hazards as we talk about just below the surface of the water that can't be seen. Meanwhile, at Grapevine Lake, uh, some popular holiday spots are unusable because of remarkably high water. Uh, this video shows a flooded picnic area. Uh, what we really need is a break in the wet weather. And we want to show you some video from Lake Worth. Now, the city of Fort Worth closed the boat ramps here overnight. They say boat wakes could cause flooding in some homes, and they say that uh, boat docks could be just underwater, and that creates a significant navigation hazard on the lake. The last time the boat ramps were closed at Lake Worth was June of 2007. Okay, back out here live, we want to take another look at uh, Lake Louisville. We can see the boathouses out here. Now, they're supposed to be floating out on the lake. Uh, what's not normal is that you can't walk to any of these boathouses. Because of the high water level, those walkways are either partially or fully submerged. And as Evan's been talking about, we're looking at the strong possibility of more rain this weekend, and that could send the spillway here over the top, and that, again, could cause some significant flooding concerns in the area around this lake. Reporting live, Dan Godwin, back to Tim and Lauren. All right, Dan, and flooding had people leaving their homes in low-lying parts of Wichita Falls. Some had enough time just to load up the trucks and leave with their valuables. Electricity was cut off in the area to prevent fires caused by electrical shorts. South Texas hit by heavy rain. Downtown Corpus Christi was flooded. Roads were blocked. Some people who thought they could get through the water ended up in trouble. We've seen that time and time again. Between Houston and Beaumont, the Trinity River spilling over its banks. Parts of Liberty County are submerged and things could get worse over the next few days because we have more rain in the forecast. This is the highest the river has been in Liberty County in 21 years. If you have outdoor plans this week and you're going to want to be uh, Keep up with the forecast and you're going to want to have the Fox 4 weather app. That WAP gives you live radar, gives you weather alerts. You can also follow the Fox 4 weather team on Twitter and also on Facebook.